Never before has humankind beheld such awesome power. The power to level a city simultaneously, slaughtering thousands of people with the push of a button. On the morning of August 6th, 1945, this incredible force of destruction was unleashed upon the city and people of Hiroshima, Japan. The origin of nuclear weapons begins with the Manhattan Project in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. There, they discovered the secrets that the atom held. By splitting an atom in half, it creates a chain reaction which in turn unleashes unimaginable power. The first test was conducted at Alamogordo Army Airfield in New Mexico. We had used one for a demonstration in New Mexico. We had two bombs left. With the introduction of this deadly new weapon, the world would never be the same. History shows us that when immense power is put in the wrong hands, disaster will surely follow suit. Native Americans learned this the hard way when rifle-armed Europeans invaded their land and forced them into slavery. A more modern example are the chemical attacks carried out by the Syrian government. These horrendous acts were a grave reminder of what happens when power is possessed by the wrong group of people. There are many people who would do anything to obtain and use nuclear weapons on their enemies. This dramatic illustration displays the dark consequences of total nuclear war. The potential for mankind's self-annihilation has been and is real. Many countries have the ability to hit targets thousands of miles away by the use of ICBMs or intercontinental ballistic missiles as well as nuclear powered submarines. These versatile war machines pack an intense punch capable of laying waste to whole continents. With the danger imposed by nuclear bombs and countries openly willing to use them on the world, the most important trait a nuclear capable country can have is responsibility. Restraint and foresight is inherently important if a country wishes to acquire and own nuclear arms. Without this, chaos and devastation are inevitable with people launching warheads at even the slightest provocations. Because of the difficulty in regulating nuclear stockpiles, many advocate the outright abolition of nuclear arsenals. We'll go into that more deeply later on in the presentation. In the year of 1951, war was being waged in the Korean Peninsula. As the war drug on, many believe atomic weapons were the solution. Pit crews at Kadena Air Base assembled nuclear bombs for warfare. The order was never given to use them in combat. This was a show of good judgment by the American military. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in the early 90s, many nuclear bombs were dispersed throughout former Soviet bloc countries. Although most were relinquished to the Russian Federation by the Non-Proliferation Treaty, some speculate that many bombs were lost or sold to foreign countries like North Korea. This was a show of poor handling of such powerful weapons. Possibly the most historic display of good and bad calls is the Cuban Missile Crisis. The crisis could be considered the worst lack of responsibility and needlessly endangering the world in human history. 
With the U.S.'s deployment of nuclear-tipped missiles in Turkey and the USSR's deployment of missiles in Cuba, the world was brought to the brink of disaster. In a sense, though, both the United States and the Soviet Union realized the consequences of attacking each other and backed down for the sake of their people. The nuclear bomb is capable of instant mass suffering. We are forced to ask ourselves, is it really worth it? What if an asteroid was on a collision course with Earth? In this unlikely event, the power of nuclear force may be our only savior. Undoubtedly, there will always be countries that cannot be trusted with nuclear arsenals. North Korea has not demonstrated that it is peaceful, cooperative, or capable of sustaining a nuclear stockpile. I speak to you tonight in a spirit of hope. 18 years ago, the event of nuclear weapons changed the course of the world, as well as the war. Since that time, all mankind has been struggling to escape from the darkening prospect of mass destruction on Earth. The Nuclear Test Ban Treaty was a great step in nuclear regulation and restriction. To lift the specter of mass destruction, we must come together to pursue the peace and security of a world without nuclear weapons. The Non-Proliferation Treaty is the most recent stem to the nuclear tide. The quest for power has been a theme in human history since the dawn of man. With the advent of atomic weaponry, this theme is even more emphasized and will continue to daunt humanity for the rest of our existence. The challenge is to balance the need for power and self-gain with reason and good judgment. The nuclear bomb isn't the first weapon of mass destruction and definitely won't be the last. The cliche, with great power comes great responsibility, is never more true. People must keep themselves in check if we are to survive.